if you go to um, uh, St. Peter's Basilica at the Vatican City in Rome, my name is there. I'm not saying, I'm saying it openly, people should hear. Something took me there, my name is in the books there. But when it comes, I will establish that. So I'm a Catholic and they're practicing one for that matter. Regarding uh, Pastor Adeboye, well, it's an apology very late. To me, I do not accept that. One, although I blame Nigerians for being vulnerable, that somebody should tell you to be paying tight, 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 without them thinking twice about it. I still blame Pastor Adeboye because if we really want to do restitution or genuine apology, I know it may be difficult refunding the whole money it's been collecting all over the years. But because they, had a, they have a university, it can declare moratorium for 20 years. People should come and attend the university without paying. Yes. That is to say, that is the best way to me or the midi irreducible minimum I will accept. You will just make his university free, every course. For 20 years, people should come and get education free as a way to pay back. Because you can't tell me you're telling people come and bring tight, 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 tight. Then later in your, when you know that you are getting close to your grave, you come out and say, now you realize it's not in the Bible. And you'll be reading the Bible from page to page for the past 20 years. Now you are telling us. So that is my take on it anyway. But as a going forward, I think uh, this is uh, to tell other pastors that they should come clean. If a boy can come clean, they should also come clean. And if they should do so, if they say what a boy said, I won't accept that too. I will also recommend those of them with universities. They should educate Nigerians free for 20 years. Then if they are having their private jet, you can sell the private jet or uh, sell the private jet. Don't donate the money to charity, but sell the private jet, put it as part of the university and then straighten the facilities. That's what they could do. Or you give up the university entirely. You don't have, a, you just give up the university so that it will be run by whoever or whatever organization. I mean, this is not this is a serious matter. I don't tell, I don't, this, this is a organized criminality, organized fraud based on theocratic insolence. It's organized fraud going on for a long time. So they know exactly what they're doing. After Adeboye benefited, he must have trained his children, put them in positions of power and everything. And now you are telling us that uh, you are sorry, it's not in the Bible. Who are you talking to? It's organized fraud. So if you really want to devote sort of, you know, I'm a Catholic. The way they do it in Catholic is if you go for confession or a okay, period of catharsis, they will tell you whatever you stole, go and return it first. If it's a tube of yam, go and return the tube of yam first. Then you now come for your penance, for punishment, for doing it. So it's not enough after stealing money from people for years, you come back and say you are sorry, and then it ends like that. Just like, you know, just like that. No, it should not be. The university should be confiscated. No, well, let him just release all the assets he has had in that case now, because they say you came to this world empty-handed. So that if he's dying today, we know he's dying empty-handed. And not that he's come to the world to amass wealth, and then based on tight, a wrong doctrine that is not in the Bible. Because it's like challenging God. It's not in the Bible. You, you invented it to do people. So I can go on and on, but let me stop here. I think mean, they passed the message. Adeboye should divulge himself of for the criminal criminal uh, criminal gains he made for churches, and then then uh, maybe God will not take up uh, and we are involved. Thank you.